Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss about the calculation of proof spirit. Concentration of the alcohol can be expressed in terms of proof spirit in order to estimate the excise duty on the alcohol. So according to the British Pharmacopoeia, the 57.1% volume by volume of alcohol is considered as 100% proof spirit or 100 degrees proof spirit. So by using this equation, we can calculate the proof spirit of a given alcoholic preparation. But we cannot directly calculate this proof spirit by using this equation. We can modify this equation in order to get a multiplication factor by which we can easily calculate the proof spirit. So here 57.1% volume by volume of alcohol. That means it is a 100 ml of the solution is having 57.1 ml of the alcohol which is equal to 100% proof spirit or which is also called as 100 degrees proof spirit. So this equation indicates that the 57.1 volumes of alcohol because we can measure the volume of the alcohol in terms of any type of units. So 57.1 volumes of the alcohol is equal to 100 volumes of the proof spirit. Then one volume of the alcohol will be so simply each volume of the alcohol equal to how many degrees of spirit. So here this will be 100 by 57.1 into 1. So which is nothing but we will get a factor 1.7513. So each volume of the alcohol is equal to 1.7513 degrees of proof spirit. So by using this we can easily calculate the proof spirit of a given alcoholic solution. Now the calculation of proof spirit involves very simple steps. All we have seen the multiplication factor which is equal to 1.7513. Then we can calculate the degrees of proof is equal to C into 1.7513 minus 100. Where C is the concentration of the alcoholic preparation that is given. And this concentration should be multiplied with the 1.7513 and then it is subtracted by 100. And based on the concentration of the alcohol solution, we can get this value as a positive value or negative value because C into 1.7513 may be either greater than 100 or less than 100. If it is greater than 100, it will give the positive value and a positive value indicates that the alcoholic solution is a overproof. That means it is having more concentration compared with the 57.1% volume by volume. Similarly, if we are getting a negative value, it indicates that the solution is underproof. That means the concentration of the solution is less than 57.1% volume by volume. So here overproof and underproof are just used to indicate whether the concentration is above 57.1 or below 57.1. So now let us see one of the example and let us see how we can calculate the proof spirit. Working example one. What is the proof strength of 80% volume by volume alcohol? So here concentration of the alcohol is given as 80%. That means 100 ml of the solution is having 80% of alcohol. Now let us the solution. And just by seeing the question here, the concentration of the alcohol as 80%, we can easily say that the solution is either underproof or overproof. Because this is 80%, that means it is greater than 57.1%, which is taken as 100 degrees of proof. So since the concentration is above 57.1%, the solution will be overproof. Now let us see the degrees of proof for this solution. So degrees of proof is equal to C into 1.7513 minus 100. So here C is nothing but 80%. So we have to take only the 80 because we are considering the volume of the alcohol. So here 80 into 1.7513 minus 100. So which is nothing but so 80 into 1.7513 will give us the 140.24. So 140.24 minus 100 it will give us the 40.24. Now the degrees of proof is equal to 40.24 and we are getting the positive value because 80 into 1.7513 is 140.24 which is greater than 100. So we are getting the value as 40.24. So this solution is degrees over proof. So 40.24 degrees. Or in this way we can calculate the proof strength uh, for a given solution. Now let us see another example where we can calculate the concentration of the alcoholic solution if we know the proof strength of the solution. This is a working example too. 
If an alcoholic solution is 25% under proof, then what is the concentration of the alcohol in the solution? So here it is a reverse where we have to calculate the concentration of the alcohol by knowing its uh, proof strength. Now let us see the solution for this working example too. Within the question we can observe the under proof. Under proof means it will give positive value or negative value. Under proof means it will give the negative value. So even it is given as a 25 under proof, we have to take it as minus 25 because under proof means it is negative value. So now we know already one of the equation degrees of proof is equal to C into 1.7513 minus 100. So here we have to substitute the degrees of proof as minus 25. If we put simply 25, we will get the completely wrong value. So we have to see that it is an under proof minus 25 over proof plus 25 so here it is given as under proof so we have to put as minus 25 so minus 25 is equal to we don't know the concentration so let it is put it as c c into 1.7513 minus 100 so now when this uh, 100 comes to on this side it becomes plus 100 so 100 minus 25 it is nothing but 75 so now concentration c is equal to 75 by 1.7513 so if we calculate it will give as 42.83 percent volume by volume so now this alcoholic solution is 42.83 percent and it is an under proof and you can easily observe that it is less than the 57.1 which indicates it is an under proof solution let us go with the working example three what is the proof strength for 45 percent volume by volume alcohol this is just like the previous question let us see the solution and here again it is given 45 percent which indicates it is less than 57.1 percent so the solution is a under proof solution so again the degrees of proof is equal to c into 1.7513 minus 100 so here the concentration is given as 45 percent so we have to put the c as 45 so 45 into 1.7513 minus 100 so which on solving it gives minus 21.19 so here minus indicates the solution is a under proof so this can be written as 21.19 degrees up that is a under proof so if we are getting the negative value then we can indicate its degrees of proof by just using the letters up and we can ignore the negative value so 21.19 degrees under proof is nothing but minus 21.19 in this way, we can calculate the proof strength of a given solution. Otherwise, we can calculate the concentration of the alcohol solution if proof strength is given. And according to the British Pharmacopoeia, the alcoholic concentration is expressed in degrees of proof by which we can estimate the excise duty that can be levied on the alcoholic preparation. So that's about the calculation of proof spirit. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.